Hey guys, another quick tutorial for you in the Silhouette version 4.1 program, which changed a lot of things. I know that when people ask, how do I do word art in Silhouette, the answer is always, you can't use another program, it doesn't work in here, do it somewhere else and trace it. Well, we figured out how to do it. It's not an instant fix, but if you have a little patience, you can do it right here in the program. The first thing you're going to want to do is make yourself an oval. We'll move this out of the way, and next we want to type out our word. Thick letters work best. Don't go for a cursive. I prefer to use impact because of all the straight lines. A lot of times it's the welcome that people like to curve. So there's mine. I'm going to get a little bigger. I'm going to color it in so it's easier for you guys to see as well. And I think I'll take the cut lines off. I didn't do it. There we go. Okay. So now we have that. Typically what you would do is double click on it, grab the cross, and bring it to the circle so that you could curve it. But that's not what we want to do. So we're going to take our circle and bring it right up under, and I'll zoom in here for you guys, right up under the C. Now you see how there's a gap between the rest of the letters. Now I want to make sure it's all centered, so I've highlighted both, and I'm going to go to the Transform panel here on the right, click that, and it shifted the welcome so that it is centered with my oval. Now, I'm going to highlight my word, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to ungroup. Now I've just made it so that it is no longer a text, each letter is separate, and if I went to curve it now, it would not curve. Double click and you get your edit points. Now I'm going to zoom in again just so it's easier to see. I'm going to take all my bottom edit points and I'm going to make them touch my red line. I'm only using the oval red line here as a guide. It's nothing else but a guide. I'm trying not to pull it any other way but straight down. Now I'm going to move to the next letter. The C will stay. The O is going to probably be a little funny. Try to use my curving edits to keep it somewhat straight. And again, just pulling the letters down. That one didn't touch, so I'm going to go back and trying not to, to pull them any other way but straight down. This did not change the full shape of the letter. Okay. I'll back out and move the circle and see how it's just curved and you still have a nice straight top. Now if you wanted to, if you wanted the top to curve also, you could just bring this back down to the bottom here. Move it so it's just above the C again. And we would want to center that again. Obviously group first, I've made a mistake. I've made a great mistake. We all do it right. And center it, ungroup our letters again. And again, I'll zoom in nice and close so it's easier to see. And we would just do the same thing, going straight up this time. And again, trying to just move in one motion straight, not pulling it too far left or too far right. I 
as you can see, it's a little time consuming, and obviously the longer the word, the more you'd have, but I hope that you see that with a font like Impact, it does make it easier because it's a very bold, straight lines. Again, I'd have to go back and look how I should do an O though. I'm not sure. I'm going to pull these up a little bit. I think that would look better. Oops, we went the wrong way. We're almost done. This one's not touching. I'm going to try to keep it right up against that red line. And zoom out here. Get rid of our oval. And look how great that looks, guys. Now we don't have to get multiple programs to make a little bit of word art. I hope that helps you guys. If you have any questions or comments, please leave me a comment below. If you like this video and want some more, hit the subscribe button. If you have ideas of other videos I should be doing, leave me a comment about that too. Till next time, guys. Bye.